When I teach Tai Chi at my school, I teach it two different ways. One is for the health and the meditative benefits, and one is for the fighting benefits. They're both good ways to train Tai Chi. The meditative way is really good for the majority of people, which is the most common way of seeing Tai Chi done today. It's done for smoothness, for relaxation, and for meditative breathing. But the fighting aspect uh, shows us a lot of techniques that are some of the greatest techniques to use for self-defense on the street. Okay, so a couple of moves we're going to showcase today. We're going to showcase three different series of techniques. So in the Yang style of Tai Chi, we have a sequence that involves the four essential actions. So we start off with doing a move called Grasp the Sparrow's Tail. That leads us into Ward Off, then to Roll Back, and then to Press. Okay, so one more time, try this movement. We're gonna go grasp the sparrow's tail as we exhale. We're gonna inhale and ward off. We're gonna exhale and roll back. We're gonna inhale and gather. And then exhale and press. And then in the yang form, the fourth move is withdraw and push. Okay? So, in terms of the fighting application for that sequence, if we have an opponent, and let's say the most common thing we train for is just a straight punch, because most people that are gonna ever fight on the street are very unskillful. Very few professional fighters ever fight on the street. So, if you're gonna ever fight a skilled fighter, you're gonna have to put more time in the gym than they do because they're professional. But most of us will only ever need to defend ourselves against the crazies, okay? So let's say we have crazy number one right here. So he goes to throw a wild punch at you, and we turn this way. And what that move is, is that's the roll back. Okay? What Tai Chi teaches us, the most important part, is how to relax our body, even in a stressful situation. Okay? Professional athletes are a great example. They train eight hours a day for their entire lives to perform at a high level in the game. Because the game is stressful. There's millions of people watching. There's millions of dollars on the line and they have to have a relaxed body in order to show athleticism that is unparalleled, okay? So Tai Chi, when we practice the form, teaches us to have that relaxation. In the fight, we wanna use the body. We wanna use the relaxed muscles, okay? So when that punch comes in again, we turn, okay? Not with my arm, but with my trunk. So again, we turn, okay? Again, timing is everything, turn in this way. Like a little more realistic, turn inside here. So my movement is not so graceful in the fighting application, it's efficient. So I turn an efficient block. Now, if he goes to throw the other arm, then I ward off. So I have ward off, roll back, in whatever order you want. Okay, if it was that hand first, I would roll back, or ward off and then roll back. If it was this hand first, I would roll back, ward off. If it's this hand first, two. Okay, very good. Now. The next Tai Chi move that we do involves a move called the Maiden Works the Shuttles. So in the section, what we do, thanks, we, we turn to the right this way. We cradle and step and we coil the body up. And that's going to gather momentum so that when we step out, we can use the waist to turn to the target and block high and push. Maiden Works the Shuttles. A lot of my students that come from other Tai Chi programs they don't even know that the movements have a self-defense application, but yet they're doing them the same as we are, okay? So the same thing. We turn to the right as we exhale. We gather and inhale. We step and then exhale. Okay? We're gonna combine this move with the first move. When that first punch comes in, I turn into it this way, but now I'm going to retaliate. The second move, I block high, and I, this hand hits, and that's the maiden works the shuttles. Pow, inside this way. Now a little faster. We're gonna be relaxed. We have good rooting in the legs. I'm gonna turn here, here, and strike. Okay, again. Here, here, pow, really fast, really hard. Okay, again. Very relaxed, inside this way. Explosive energy, okay? And the third sequence we have from the Yang style of Tai Chi is in the beginning of the form. We do a lot of movements and we get to a part 
which we call the guitar goes to the side. Then step forward and rolling side hands. This is a very colorful move. So in the form, I exhale, then I inhale, then I exhale, inhale, and exhale. So one more time. From here, I inhale, I exhale, I inhale, and I exhale. Okay? Very cleansing, very centering, very good for relaxation, for relaxation in the fight. What I do on this first move is when that punch comes at me, I'm going here. Look at how my wrist is bent back. The sideways guitar we just did is like this. That top hand is the block. The swale or the hollow of your wrist is the blocking contact point. So when he comes in, I go here. Now my bottom hand chops into the ribs. And that's why we do this sideways guitar. So I'm going to go here, hit to the ribs. Now immediately, I'm in. I don't want to hit and jump back out again. This is not point sparring. Okay. So once I'm in, I'm going to keep pressing. This hand circles underneath, ties up the arm, and I press my whole body down into the ground. And that's why we go sideways guitar, we step forward, and we turn the hip and press. And that's the movement of the double side hand. Let's go from this angle. Okay, one more time. The movement is here, step forward, and press the elbow one, and then strike them two, using the hip, turning them into the ground. Again. The punch comes in, I go here, chop to the ribs, I circle with this hand, and I turn, and the first move is turn with my hip and press him down with my back, with my waist, and the second side hand ends it right behind the head. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna go here, circle this way, and down into the ground, and then hit. Okay, now we're gonna do all one move. Here, down, into the ground, and pow, that way. Okay? So, we have sideways guitar, step forward and press twice. We have grass the sparrow's tail with the four essential actions. And we have maiden works the shuttles. Go back, watch it again, learn the movements and learn the breathing. And then if you want to repeat those sequences multiple times, that'd be great. Or get a partner and work on the fighting aspect.